the sword cut through the cords with ease, although it may take several cuts for the armour to fall away. Both the Shikoro and the Kuzari survived well. Dented, some chipping and definitely lace was cut, but the samurai would have survived. While I wasn't surprised that the strike to the lower part of the arm didn't penetrate, the metal spines would have absorbed the blow. But the big surprise for me was the chainmail strike. Not only did it hold, but the sword did not penetrate. A broken arm possibly, but again we have a samurai that would have survived. The Mempo took very minor damage. I'm sure the warrior would have had a broken jaw. The cords were very easy to cut, exposing the throat for a secondary cut later. Well, the small metal discs in the padding certainly did their job. The sword could not penetrate. Hi everyone, that was Mike Graham doing an awesome demonstration of samurai armour versus a katana. What did you think? Do you think the armour stood up well to the strikes? How do you think it went? Leave your comments below. Now, my name's Anthony Cummins and I'm teaming up with Mike Graham and Iron Mountain Armoury. And we are going to try to bring the truth about the samurai history, about samurai warfare, and try and polish up our image of the samurai. Now I'm doing it through this, we're doing the Book of Samurai series and, um, and Iron Mountain Armoury are doing it through bringing armour to people who learn Japanese ways all over the world. Our goal is to get people reading the historical scrolls but also get a set of armour in every single dojo across the world. So no matter what Japanese martial art you do, let's get some armour in there, let's get wearing it. Now if you use the name Anthony Cummins when you go to their website, they'll get, send you a free gift when you order something from them, appropriate to what you order. But also, just go along and see what they do. They've got a channel, they've got Facebook pages, they've got everything. So I'm going to leave the links below. But above all that, the, the extract you've just seen comes from a much longer video. So if you want to see the original video with all the dialogue in and all the experimentation, the link is also below. So go there. If you want to get some armour on, contact these guys. They know what they're talking about, they know their armour, and they're really open to chatting with everyone. So good luck, and let's go for the next armour testing video.